Hello, Gemini is here with a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Um, I am trying this time, Gemini, to focus on love. Um, but, and, and we are, we are getting love messages in these love readings, but, um, there, there are more holistic readings about love. So I just want to tell you that this reading, I will be focusing on love, but I am realizing that our spiritual teams are here, maybe in this very special time in our history, um, with messages that they're bringing forward. So, um, while I'm, my intention is to focus on love, that this reading might be somewhat different than I expect it to be. That's how these readings are going this week. And so I'm just surrendering into it. I'm staying with the, with the focus, um, and, and just moving forward. So Gemini, let me see what deck I want to use. Maybe this deck. So we'll use this deck. Um, for this reading, I am going to be looking at the current situation and then moving it out the next week or two. Uh, so we're looking at the next immediate future here. In the extended reading, I am going to look at the next several months. And then we're going to look at the people who are around you, dig in and find out a little bit more information about them and see what they think of you, see how they feel about you. So that's what we're going to be doing in the extended. All right, let's go ahead and get started, Gemini. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Gemini strongly in their charts, but it may not fit for everyone. Um, let's just go ahead. I just feel your energy is, it's a faster energy this, this time for this group. Um, I don't feel like you might not have a whole lot of patience for this introduction. That's okay. You've heard plenty of my introductions before, I'm sure. current situation now. All right, so this is a group of Geminis who, I mean, something has come forward. Something has come forward. Either, I mean, there, there is some kind of, maybe you, you've had a surprise that's come forward. Maybe you've had a dream that you've realized something here is no longer hidden in your life. And this will affect you emotionally. All right. So it's something that will affect you emotionally. It's no longer hidden. It has come forward now. And Somehow this has affected how you're feeling about your resources as the Queen of Pentacles, how you're feeling about your routine, how you're feeling about what you need to do as far as work, because the Queen of Pentacles is the worker. She's the backbone. She can implement like nobody else. She can figure things out like nobody else. She's a hard worker. She is responsible and reliable, and she is practical. She's also very compassionate. She also realizes that in order to be effective, she has to really take good care of herself and stay healthy. So she's very holistic with how she considers herself as a person, how she considers herself as a, as a tool in her own life. So she's, she's a worker bee, right? And she understands the value of this. Now, something has happened here that's come forward, that's come to light that's affected how she, it's affected the details of her world, which is about money or routine or a project that she's working on or the budget that she has. Something has affected that. Here she is as a queen of pentacles looking at this, right? And holding this coin. And it's almost like she's thinking, okay, now I have this to deal with, or now I have this to enjoy, right? Because it doesn't have to be bad what comes forward, but something has come forward. It's possibly something surprising because um, we have a Knight of Wands energy here, so she could be moving forward here um, with, a lot of, uh, with a lot of strength. Knight of Wands. I just feel like I need to dig into the Knight of Wands. Let me go a little deeper into this Knight of Wands here. 
the world energy. The sun. Four of Wands. I mean, beautiful energies. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful energies. Well, this is either a person coming towards her or she's moving um, with excitement into a new adventure, into, into something new here. Um, there is a new beginning. There is something big and expansive happening in this person's life with the world energy. It's topped by the sun. I mean, this it's topped by the sun and it's the four. I mean, now I have to, I mean, I, I just don't have any words, Gemini. I mean, there is some sort of passionate movement here. Some sort of passionate movement where you're excited, you're enthusiastic, you feel the chemistry in the air. You feel the electricity around you. You're on fire and you're willing to step into something that you've never done before. And you have this incredible um, strength at this time. Now we know the Knight, of, the Knight of Wands is something that is an energy that is going to be used up, right? It's an energy that will burst out, but it uses a lot of fuel. So it's, it's usually not an energy that's here for a huge period of time because at some point you're going to get depleted. It's not that you're going to be depleted and you're going to be sick. You're just going to run out of this fuel that, that this, this engine that fuels the Knight of Wands is going to calm and maybe you will turn into the Knight of Swords, which is your natural energy, right? For right now, you're in this like, I mean, with the, with the world, the sun and the four of wands clarifying the knight of wands. I mean, this is a whole new world. This is a whole new day. This is a whole new dawn. This is something incredible. This is something fantastic. This is something that you know that you have the power to do, that you have the strength to do. And it's something that's bringing in stability with the Four of Wands. It's something that's creating a foundation for you, a shelter for you. It could be about your home, about your job, about your workplace. But this, the sun is here. Healing, empowerment, wealth, abundance. And then you have the world. Expansive energy. Gemini, what is going on? Okay, I have to look at the moon. Let's look at the moon here. What is this moon? And now there's a mystery for me to solve. Let's see if I can solve this mystery, Gemini. Because <laughs> now we're getting into an exciting reading. This is the, oh boy, I'm on fire now. Okay, something has come out here of the darkness or that was hidden or some idea that you had that was even within you. Gemini, that has brought you into a place of independence and personal strength. Whatever this is with the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles here with the Three of Wands. So you could have had this idea or this solution, or you could have the money now. You could have the resources now um, in your life. Because here we have the Nine of Pentacles, and now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Look, there's Ten Pentacles put together. And there's optimism here. Something is happening here that you really see coming into fruition. And you have this optimism and enthusiasm and you are waiting for it to happen, right? You have this nine of pentacles here, having enough money, having enough personal empowerment, having an, your own independent energy where you can stand tall and say, I have an idea. I have a solution. I am able to blank to do this, or I am able to, to do that. This is knowing who you are and what you're made of. 
right? This is a power statement with the Nine of Pentacles. And then it's next to the Three of Wands. Like you're just waiting for the ship to come in. Like as soon as this ship is here, I'm taking off. And you know what you're doing too, because this Queen of Pentacles is here. Like you've got it all handled. You've got it all figured out, Gemini. And then when you get into the Knight of Wands, I mean, it's like this power energy. What? This is a huge surprise, Gemini. A huge surprise. This is energizing for me. I just, I don't even have the words to, to even say what this could be. But this is something that is a dream come true. And not only is it a dream come, come true for you, I suspect it's a dream come, come true for many people. When we're in these dark days, in these shifting times, and there is a group of people that has this kind of energy, mm, this is this is a gift for every one of us, this energy, Gemini. This is a gift. This is a gift for everybody. Let's look at the star energy and see what comes out with the star. Well, we have the six of wands flip over. That's an exciting energy too that would fit right in. Tell me more about the star energy, please. King of Pentacles. I mean, here is a counterpart energy, the King and Queen of Pentacles with the star. Could be a power couple here is what it could be. It could be that you're a power player is what it could be. Because now we have the masculine and the feminine energies in their own empowerment. This is balance, if you ask me. If this is you in the Nine of Pentacles, knowing your own personal strength and moving forward in some powerful way. And we have the King of Pentacles here clarifying the star energy, which is about reaching your destiny, speaking your truth, living in your truth, embracing yourself and knowing the value of what you bring to the table. And the King of Pentacles clarifies that energy. And you already have the King of the Queen of Pentacles here. I mean, this is either a power couple or one individual who's stepping into their own empowerment and being equally balanced in the masculine and feminine energies. Being able to see the changes that need to be made in your overall picture of wealth and having the ability to dig in and see the details and do what needs to be done with the details. This is like, this is like a boss and an administrative assistant. Let's say this differently because I've been an administrative assistant for many years and I would like to say it differently. This is like a, a boss or a supervisor and an administrative executive all in the same person. That's what it's like. Power play. We're still clarifying the star and here we have the Ace of Swords flip over the truth. That's the truth. And that's the dang truth. Six of Swords. There you go. Knowing who you are. Knowing what you believe in. Having an action plan and feeling good about it. Feeling at peace with it. And moving forward into calmer waters. Six of Swords. Okay, so this is a power group of Gemini people. Okay. <laughs> Let's move into the future and see what we have in the future here. Let me put all of these energies back in. Let me make sure they're all in the upright. Okay, good. And let's take these energies and put them up above the camera. Okay, let's see what's here in the future for you. What's in here? I have a card that's flipped over. Okay. What's in the future for, what's in the next immediate future for Gemini? What's in the next immediate future for Gemini? Ooh, it's just a big Queen of Cups. Wow. Emperor energy. Look at the Ten of Pentacles flipped over as well.
Tree of Swords flipped over. Could be some pain here. Could be some anxiety here, some pain. The world energy. And the King of Cups. What? Okay. What do I even say? For the first time, I mean, the other readings, Gemini, have been good. They've been enlightening readings this week. They've been mostly serious readings with lessons about change and acceptance and all of that. This group of you, I mean, I'm shocked at this. This is game changer type of energy. This is game changer energy. I know for a while I had the comments off on my readings while I went through a major change in my life, but they're on now. You know, if, if you wish to, please put in a comment about how you are going to be using this energy. If you're resonating with this, maybe some words that come to mind like game changer or trailblazer, right? Or pathfinder. I know these are all, these are names of cars and of sports teams. I know. Like what, what's the phrase that really embodies this energy? Because this is something that I've not found in, I've done, this is my sixth reading I've done this week for this series. So this is a whole new group of energy that I see here that we've uncovered. We've uncovered this group of you. You're now being seen. <laughs> We see you now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Queen of Cups energy. Next to the Emperor. Next to the world. Next to the King of Cups. Well, we have a another couple energy. Remember before we had the King and Queen of Pentacles. Now we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So there could definitely be a couple here. Or a two people who are connecting in a very powerful way. We also have an emperor here. And a lot of the times the emperor talks about development of a system or structure within a system, um, really management of a process and how to really bring that process into success, right? So this is taking something, growing it, strategizing about it, putting it into action, and bringing it to a success, successful place. That's what the emperor does, right? We, we start off here with the queen of cups. Now the queen of cups is a emotional energy within the feminine, right? So here you are, um, very emotional now as you move into the next couple of weeks about your life, whatever it is, uh, being emotional. Um, the heart center is active. So you could be um, really understanding how to care for yourself and how to be aware of how you're feeling. You could be feeling very emotional. You could be one day, you could be feeling sad. And the next day you could be feeling very happy about your life. So you could be um, very emotional in a very emotional period of time, Gemini. But this is really understanding um, how to fill your own cup, how to bring yourself to a healed and inspired and loving place within yourself. So you're feeling that way about yourself. And then when you do that and your cup starts to, to run over, you take that e extra energy, that extra emotion, and you can give it to the people around you and nourish the people around you. But if that cup is empty or that cup is only half full, it's pretty hard to nourish the people around you when your own cup isn't full. And so this is a queen of cups whose cup is full. So you, you are in action now to bring in health and recovery and healing and love to not only yourself, but to the people around you. And my throat chakra is being affected now. And um, it could be because I'm doing a lot of talking, but it could also be because there is something here that you're also expressing as well, expressing love, expressing how you feel about the people around you, how you feel about yourself, how you feel about life and humanity. So there, there, I think, um, and now that feeling has gone away. So I think that this is about how you express your love for yourself and for others. Now the emperor is here next to the world energy. So there's some sort of 
I mean, there's, there, there is an ending always with the world energy and then there's something new. And the fact that the emperor is next to the world energy tells me that this is a period of time that's going to take some discipline now, some structure, processes and guidelines for how to really um, go through some sort of a transformation energy with the world. There is a change afoot within this relationship or within this space that we're in. There is a change afoot here. And here we have the King of Cups. This is a masculine energy that is bringing love, vitality, compassion, kindness, care to the environment around him. He's in action now, doing things to improve the lives of the people that are around him. That's what he does. He nourishes the people around him, whether they're in his household, whether this person that they nourish is a lover or a family or a community or a state or a province or a country or the world. This is what the King of Cups does. So I'm interested now in this emperor energy and then I'll look into the world energy and see if we can get a little bit more information here. Emperor energy, emperor energy. Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands. So there's something that maybe the both of you here, or if you're just one person, how balanced you are. This is, could also be talking about your own balance within you, which gives you empowerment to do what you need to do. It will help you reach this emperor level. Um, there's something here that is that's happening to you with the Knight of Wands that could be difficult that could leave you in a very vulnerable place. Um, it, it shows here with the nine of wands that you have a lot of, res that you have a lot of passion for the causes and for what you believe in, that you have a lot of duties, obligations, maybe people that you take action for. And even though it's gotten hard here with the five of pentacles, even though that there are fears here that you're going through, you're not backing away from this. There's more fight left in you, right? It's only the nine of wands. It's not the 10 of wands. There's still fight left in you. You're not backing away. You might be somewhat defensive and you might be holding back a little bit on how you communicate this, but you're not backing away. And you're really focused here on your foundation on your security on your stability in the world around you because the four of wands is an energy that helps us create stability in our lives it's creating an agreement or putting together a contract or joining in a relationship with someone because again we have these two partner energies here joining in on a relationship with someone that will bring stability. So you're not worried about relationship. How does this person feel about me? Well, we've gone out on dates, but I don't really know how this person actually feels, right? And then with the four of wands, there would be a firming up of that relationship. Like I would like to be exclusive in this relationship with you, right? That kind of a firming up. If this is about work, um, there would be some sort of agreement where you would have confidence that you would have this work and then you would take action within that confidence, which brings a, an energy of stability to um, how you take action in your life. So there is a focus here with this emperor energy on overcoming this five of pentacles and bringing stability in for yourself. And it's going to take some discipline here and some structure um, and some expertise on how to do that. Remember, the emperor has been through a lot. And when times get rough, when times get chaotic, what does the emperor do? And lots of times we talk about this in a negative way, but it's not always a negative thing. When times get rough, let's say, let's say times are easy 
And let's say you're making sufficient money and you have this plan. You're going to take, you know, a third of your money. And now I'm being really dreamy because I don't think it's like this anymore. You're going to take a third of your money and you're going to pay your mortgage. You're going to pay your rent with it. And the other third of your money, you're going to put into savings. And the other third of the money you're going to use to spend in town or on your bills or whatever, right? You're going to divide up your money. And then what happens when times get hard with the five of pentacles? Then things can get out of control. And when the emperor steps in, what does the emperor do then? He takes control. He says, things are really unstable. And so I'm going to step in here and I'm going to create some guidelines. I'm going to create some laws. I'm going to create some processes for myself. And so he might change up that one third, one third, one third system and say, for the time being, this is what we're going to do to make sure that we have this stability in our lives, the four of wands. So while the emperor could even be government or the emperor could be a spouse or something like that, the emperor could also be the fraction or this part of us that can step forward when we go through scary times and say, okay, this is a different kind of situation. I'm going to operate differently. I'm going to create more structure for myself. I'm going to have a budget or whatever, right? And I think that's what this emperor energy means. Whether this is a couple that is a counterpart couple, because now we have two of these that have come out, or whether this is a person who's really stepping into their own empowerment in a very balanced way. Let's look at the world energy here. World energy here. Two of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. So here we have this partnership. I mean, there's definitely two cups here. So many of you, this is learning how to do this with your romantic partner or with your spouse or with your partner at work. Really understanding how to really move through this with the Six of Pentacles. Doing it in a way where there's generosity and equality at the same time. Where it's fair and it's generous at the same time. And where both people are pulling their weight and are putting into this system in an equal way. So... That could be a change with the world energy. That could be an improvement now. This could be something that's coming in here and um, really enhancing something in a weird kind of way. All right, my friends, um, I am going to move into the extended now while I feel this energy in me. I'm going to be taking this scenario out a couple of months, two to three months into the future. And I also will be looking at the people who are around you, um, digging into a little bit deeper about them and looking to see um, how they feel about you and how they think about you. All right, my friends. So I'm going to move to that reading now. Thank you for being here. It's always a real pleasure to read for you, Gemini. And this reading was out of this world, completely out of this world. Super exciting. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you all... Um, to stay healthy, to stay strong, to stay st to say to stay sane, and I will see you back here in another week or so with with another reading. Thank you very much.